All right, so it's popping big headed fam. It's your boy Big Gotti, and uh, today we're gonna do another story time. You know what I'm saying? I had my boy H on the channel last time. You know what I mean? He had a little interview about his channel, but uh, basically he's gonna break down a little story, something that happened in the hood back in the day. So uh, jump into it, man. How, how did that day start, P? Man, it was a nice, beautiful day. You know, <clears throat> I was doing my thing like I always did. You know, I got a phone call from one of my friends. He was like, "Hey, bro." Uh, we have a situation. I, I, I really didn't know what was going on the whole day. Yeah. Till like it was time to fight. You know, the guy wanted to come over and fight or something like that. But there was like a whole get down to the whole you know situation. You know, so what break I mean? that down because I know you found out found out about that after. So break that. Part you know, down. like you know, I was there at a situation with a boy. His name was Roger. Yeah. Uh, he was from Sixth Street. You know. Um, he was a younger guy. I met him when he was like 17, 16 years old, you know. And uh, he called me up and told me that, you know, he had a situation with some dudes that wanted to fight. And I went to his house to go pull up. You know, he was calling my other boy on the phone being, hey, bro, what's up, bro? Can you uh, come through? Blah, blah, blah. These people are tripping. And they kept on calling his phone, his mom's house. Kept yeah. on kept on harassing him. Yeah. And I didn't know what was going on at first. I was just there to just to have his back. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But then I found out later on that, you know, he actually stole some weed. I ate the weed from this guy. And he was tripping off of it, threatening him. And I know my boy Roger evoked, evoked it, you know, by... Provoked it? Yeah, yeah, really bad, you know, by going by his house and waving a gun. You know, that's not good, you know. You don't yeah. do that to people's families, bro. That, that's one thing you don't fuck around with, you know. And... I remember hearing about that situation, too, yeah, by the way. Yeah, so it was like, you know, and there was like three brothers. I don't, I don't know their names. I don't know anything like that, but I just know there was three brothers. Yeah. One brother was tripping, and all of them were tripping, and... Uh, it was an ugly night, man. It was like around maybe nine o'clock, maybe around ten o'clock. I was just at Rogers. So what, house. what happened? What happened before that? Like when you got the phone call, like you was at where was you at when you got the phone call that you needed to be, go over there? Um, I was at my house. I got the phone call at my house. You know, said, "Hey, your boy's looking for you." Blah blah blah. And I was like, "All right." So I called them. Yeah. See what's going on. He was like, "Hey, these." Back are... when there wasn't no cell phones. Huh? Yeah, there wasn't really that many cell phones, yeah. so we had to wait till we got a phone call from the house phone. Yeah. Right. Or if you had a cell phone back in the day, you were rich. You was balling, fact. You know what I mean? We, we weren't rich, so we had to use landmines. So mm -hmm. I got a phone call. My grandma said, "Hey, my boy's looking for me." Blah blah blah. So I go to his house. I sit there for like two hours. I, I got there like around maybe five or six, but I waited hell long, like yeah. hell long, and I got tired of waiting really got tired of waiting and i had a job at centromart i worked at centromart yeah so I i'm that. only like 17 years old i have to go work at centromart and <sighs> nightfall starts coming and they just keep on calling hey bro come meet us blah 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 and we're telling them come meet us over here on the street just bullshitting you know i didn't know what was going on i got tired of waiting so i left being never came he kept on getting the phone calls calling back and forth from roger's phone okay calling the house kept on calling hey bro they, they want us to come over there to bean's house and then roger was like nah tell him to come to my house and then it was just they, they didn't know where it was gonna pop off at okay. okay they were just trying to get the situation no one was going by the houses like i didn't know that you know before all this shit happened the thing i took the weed that they took the weed they went by the house, aimed a gun at the house and shit like that. I didn't know that it was to that level already. Okay. You know what I mean? I thought it was just going to be a straight up fight, you know, or whatever. You know, it's already uh -oh. 11 o'clock. It's already like almost like, I think it was like 10 or 11 o'clock, somewhere on that time. But it was already getting late. Yeah. So I got tired of waiting. So I took a walk down the street. I walk past a couple houses, you know, I get to Stinky uh, Pete's gas station right there on the back of Country Club right there, right behind the donut shop. Yeah. And I hear gunshots, like literally just going off. I'm like, what the f How many gunshots you hear, you think? I heard at least six. Okay. At least six that I that I can hear because I was running and I was a fat, I was a little bit fatter, you know, I'm still big, you know, but I was running. Yeah. And I was trying to get there as fast as I can, so maybe I missed a couple shots or whatever. 
But I get to the house and I'm running. The house is on my left hand left hand side and I'm running up to the block and I see my boy Roger. Or actually I see Bean first. I, I, I didn't know it was Bean but tell after everything was done and then I got up to the door and I seen it was Roger. 